Welcome to the Membership Guys podcast. Kick-ass advice and tips for membership site owners. Hey guys, welcome to episode 186 of the Membership Guys podcast with me, Mike Morrison, your host for the show. Thank you so much for spending some time with me this week. If you are a first-time listener, congratulations, you found us. You are in the place to be for proven practical tips and advice on growing a successful membership business. And if you're a long-term listener, then you know that already, but you also know that I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I'm so thankful for you downloading this episode for all your continued support. You are awesome. All right, today we're talking about how to make your membership more manageable, specifically the type of work and the type of tasks that you should outsource to make running your membership far more manageable and less stressful. Most membership site owners, in fact, most business owners, especially those early on in their journey, try to do everything themselves. My good friend Chris Ducker refers to this as superhero syndrome, where you convince yourself that everything in your business rests on your shoulders, that you're the only person who could possibly handle it all. You're the only person who could possibly do it as well as it needs to be done. And if that means that you have to work insane hours or you're stressed all the time or you're burned out, then well, that's just the price you pay for being the hero in your business. But that's all nonsense. You know this, right? You shouldn't be trying to do everything yourself because it's just not sustainable. And it's just not sensible, especially as your business grows. Trying to handle everything yourself, refusing to let anything go or to trust anyone else to help you in the process, always ends the same way. It always ends in burnout. All of those plates that you're trying to keep spinning will soon come crashing to the floor. And if you're burned out, it's your members who will pay the price. If you lose, they lose. The important thing to remember with all of the sort of tasks that we're suggesting in this episode that you outsource or you get help with is that it's not about certain types of work being beneath you. And it's not just about hiring people who are better at various things than you are. The central focus of all of this is about finding ways of freeing up your time energy and mental bandwidth in order to enable you to focus more on the things that only you can do and on the things that best serve your members. If you only have 40 hours per week to dedicate to your membership, and some people don't have even that much time, if you only have 40 hours a week to dedicate your membership, do you think that those members would prefer you to spend half of that time dealing with little customer service issues or trying to figure out how to turn a green button on your website into a red button? Or would they rather you spent the entirety of that time creating awesome content for them, helping them in your community, growing your brand so you can bring even more great people into the fold? What do you think they'd rather? Where do you think is your time best spent when it comes to serving your membership. You want to be the rock star, not the roadie. People are coming to your show and they want to see you perform. They don't want to watch you lugging all of the sets off the stage in between each song. Can you imagine that? You go to a concert to see your favourite band, your favourite singer, and after they've finished belting their greatest hit, they just say, hey guys, hold on a second, we need a quick uh, costume change, so I'm just going to help these guys in their new outfit and then we need to take this instrument off the stage so I'm going to take care of that as well and you know our bass guitarist needs his brow mop so I'm just going to go get a flannel that's not what you're there for and they don't want your voice getting hoarse because you've spent all morning before the conference dealing with venues arranging catering that's not your job Okay, I'm starting to stretch the metaphor a little, but hopefully you get my meaning here. The point is that you need to look at outsourcing certain tasks within your membership business if you want it to be the best it can be, and if you want to be of most use to your business. You want it to be sustainable long term, you need help. So let's talk about some of the things you can outsource, starting off with customer service. 
If you're the expert, if you're the leader, the figurehead that people are joining a membership to gain access to, then you shouldn't also be dealing with the front of house, day-to-day customer service queries. It makes sense to have someone in place to handle that and to keep that sort of thing off your desk. Now, that doesn't mean you don't in any fashion ever interact with potential members or existing customers, but there's a certain type of inquiry, problem, support issue that you shouldn't be getting mixed up in. Again, this is something that isn't necessarily the best use of your powers. If you're the superhero of your business, your superpowers aren't helping people who have reset their password, but they haven't had their email. Your skills, knowledge, experience, and expertise aren't being put to good use here. And in fact, being the point person for customer service queries can actually affect the dynamic between you and your members too, especially if you're dealing with minor tech issues or complaints and stuff like that. Those members then associate you with that sort of thing rather than associating you with the thing that you're the expert at. Their relationship with you becomes defined by whatever niggling little problem they had to email you about. You shouldn't be the front-of-line customer service representative for your business. This is something that a good virtual assistant or an admin assistant should be taken care of. Speaking of which, other day-to-day admin support is well worth outsourcing too. Responding to general inquiries and emails, dealing with requests for you to be a guest on a podcast or to contribute to blogs, maybe things like managing your diary, publishing content, scheduling appointments for you, maybe even managing and scheduling your social media posts. Ideally, you'll have someone else handling all of that sort of stuff. All of those essential little day-to-day admin tasks that do need to be done, but perhaps don't exclusively or entirely need to be done by you. A good virtual assistant dealing with admin could also be handling your customer service too, so that kills two birds with one stone. Tech support is something else you should consider outsourcing. If you're not technically inclined, then you should absolutely have some sort of support in place for all the tech stuff related to your website. Installing plugins, updating themes, making tweaks to your site, fixing bugs and so on. So many people try to just muddle through with this stuff on their own. But unless you know what you're doing, this can lead to a lot of waste of time and a hell of a lot of frustration. Often something that will take you an entire day to try to figure out on the tech front could easily be solved by a web developer in a matter of minutes. Now, the reason a lot of people don't outsource their tech support is because good tech support comes at a price. It's a specialist field. But you have to ask yourself, how much is your own time worth? If something takes you five hours to figure out, but it would only take a developer an hour... Does the fact that that developer charges $50 per hour really matter? You're not paying for the time it takes them. You're paying for the time it saves you. So if you're willing to spend five hours in order to save and avoid spending $50, basically what you're saying is that your time is only worth $10 an hour. Is that true? I very much doubt it. With so many moving parts involved in a membership site on the technical side of things it really does pay to invest in good tech support and if you check out episode 177 of this podcast which you can do by heading to the membershipguys.com slash 177 check out that episode i actually talk through in more depth some of the options that you have for finding good tech support Similarly to having support for the tech side of your membership site, you should also consider outsourcing another technical type of task, editing. Most of the memberships in our audience and certainly within our community are ones that are making heavy use of video for their membership content. They're creating courses, they're creating tutorials. And a lot of those same people are also using video for their marketing too. So they're running a YouTube channel or they're creating videos for social media. We also have a lot of membership owners who do things like podcasting. They do what we do. They have a podcast where, again, there's editing work to be done on the audio side of things. Once again, this is the type of task that you should not be trying to do yourself. Even if you're capable and competent, it is not the sort of task that should be on your plate. In most cases, it probably isn't in your skill set. And even if it is, it's not the best use of your time. A good video or audio editor will be able to do the job quicker and better. So if you're using audio or you're using video for your membership content or for your public content as part of your marketing, invest in someone to edit that for you. 
It can save you time and the end result could be of a much higher quality than you'll be able to produce yourself. Graphic design is another specialist task that you shouldn't be doing yourself either. Once again, chances are it's not something that falls into your core skill set. And while there are a lot of tools out there that make it easier to cobble design assets together, it's better to get someone to do this for you on an ongoing basis who knows what they're doing. Your brand is everything. And the quality of visuals and overall aesthetic of what you put out there into the world plays a huge, huge part in how that brand is perceived. A great business with subpar visuals will look like a subpar business. Now, maybe you strike it lucky. Perhaps you hire a virtual assistant who just so happens to be an absolute whiz in using a simple tool like Canva. You can do a lot with Canva and someone who knows their way around it might be able to whip up some decent looking social media graphics. General VAs and general admin assistants with that kind of skill set and with that creative eye to put together decent social media graphics that don't look like a dog's dinner, they do exist but they are a rarity. And even then, for the real big important design tasks like creating your logo, creating sales page graphics and so on, it's far better to get a real, proven, skilled designer on the case. The last sort of work, the last task or role that uh, we would suggest potentially outsourcing, it's more of a luxury one to outsource, and that is community management. Now, the reason I say that it's a luxury type of task to outsource is because in most memberships, you as the leader, as the expert, the figurehead, should have a significant personal presence in your community. You should be showing up regularly, answering questions, welcoming new members and so on. However, again, that doesn't mean you have to do it all. A good community manager can really raise the level and the quality of engagement inside your forum, Facebook group, Slack channel or wherever your membership community resides. Not only can they deal with some of the uglier sides of running a community so they keep you out of dealing with conflicts or they keep you away from the ugly task of having to ban or warn problem members and so on. If you're using a forum software rather than a social media group, they can also deal with the admin side of that too, moving topics that have been posted in the wrong place to the appropriate section, merging duplicate posts if someone's posted the same thing twice, or editing thread titles where someone has used all capitals or a million exclamation marks. It's on the engagement side of things that a good community manager really shines though. You can't live in your forum 24-7. And while you do want to be accessible and you do want to have a strong presence, it's possible to be too accessible and to have too much of a presence and be overbearing. So having someone else in there representing your business, representing your brand, who can welcome new members, reply to discussions and so on, goes a long, long way. Now, if yours is a membership that is built around a specialist subject, then it's unlikely that your community manager will have the necessary experience or expertise required in order to actually give advice in the same way that you could. So they're not a substitute for you. They are an accompaniment. They enhance your business's presence. They don't replace your presence. So while they can't necessarily or they're more likely not going to be able to give advice in the same way you can they can certainly point people towards resources in your membership that would help them or link them to other discussions in your community where you've previously answered questions they can connect members together so if someone asks a question and your community manager knows that another member would have the answer they can connect those guys together so they help each other out tagging people into relevant conversations and so on even just responding to acknowledge someone's question and to mention that you'll be along shortly with your advice that goes a long way there's nothing worse than someone asking a question and then it going unanswered so even if your community manager can't help or there's no resources or anything to link to just being there to respond to make sure that question doesn't go completely unanswered for 24 hours just to reassure someone that they've been seen, they've been heard, and that they will get an answer, that can be massively, massively beneficial. Now, finding a community manager can certainly be harder than some of the other tasks we've discussed, as so much does depend on their ability to fit the dynamic of your community. And there are less people out there specializing in community management than there are admin assistants or virtual assistants, for example. 
We often find the best community managers come from within. They're long-serving members that you effectively promote to a larger role within your community. So if you're thinking of having somebody help you out on this front, start by looking inside your community itself. So there we go. Those are six areas in which you would certainly benefit from looking at options for outsourcing the tasks that you're doing day-to-day in your membership. Customer service, general day-to-day admin, tech support, editing of video and audio content, graphic design and community management. Please, I implore you, do not fall foul of superhero syndrome. You cannot do it all. And actually, it's detrimental to your membership if you even try. Hopefully this week's episode has been useful to you. Hopefully that's a little bit of a kick up the backside to snap you out of that superhero syndrome. Or if you're already well aware of the fact you need to start outsourcing, hopefully this has given you some pointers on the key areas you should be focusing on first. That's it from me for this week. I'll be back again next week with another installment of the Membership Guys podcast. So I'll see you guys then. If you've enjoyed today's episode of the Membership Guides podcast, we invite you to check out the membersiteacademy.com. The Member Site Academy is the essential resource for anyone at any stage of starting, growing and running a membership website. So whether you're still figuring out what your idea is going to be or whether your website is already up and running and you're just looking for ways to grow it and attract new members, then the Member Site Academy can help you to get to the next level. With our extensive course library, monthly training, exclusive member-only discounts, perks and tools, and a supportive, active community to help you along the way with feedback, encouragement and advice, the Member Site Academy is the perfect place to be for anyone looking to start, manage and grow a successful membership website. So check it out at membersiteacademy.com.